Wish your running could be more enjoyable and more efficient? In this episode of Karhu Forward Running, we'll learn how the glutes and hamstrings should be utilized. Let's take a look. Each part of your body moves in sequence to generate a smooth running gait. In the push phase of the stride, your hamstrings and glutes are activated as soon as you push toward the next step. The knee then straightens and the ankle extends. The swing phase is also active and a fluid stride can be achieved by lifting the heel toward the butt. A fluid running form will help you make use of the large, powerful muscles in your glutes and hamstrings. In the end of the push phase, let your foot go fairly far back and extend your knee straight. As you move into the swing phase, take advantage of the power you got from the push. Lift your heel as close as you can to your butt without hitting it. Hold your upper body stable, starting from the pelvis. Running becomes more efficient when this crucial phase is fully utilized as a strong transition toward the next powerful stride. Runners often underutilize the muscles in the hamstrings and glutes. This can cause the stride to become too short and keep the ball of the foot from pushing all the way through and blocks the ankle's full extension. Together, these factors prohibit a proper push toward the swing phase and the next stride. Running is most dynamic and fluid when you engage the muscles in the legs. The glutes and the hamstrings work together. Let's take a look at how you can practice this.